Now let's have a look at vocabulary acquisition and automaticity and their role in terms of developing fluency uh, amongst our readers. Okay. So fluent reading doesn't come through memorizing um, general or specialized vocabulary. Rather, it comes, it can come, it can happen through, you know, understanding specialized vocabulary in its context. So it's the job of the teachers to select texts which match reader's level. And it's on the other hand, we can explicitly tell our students for example, when they are outside the classroom, they can choose texts which are matchable to their current level of uh, linguistic level. And on the other hand, there are certain disadvantages of difficult texts. Let's, let's have a look at, um, in the light of this research, this finding. Zemel and Speck suggest that fluent reading can be hampered by a number of ways. One of the ways is that it's not actual scientific terms such as repression, schizophrenia, psychosis, but it's descriptive and elaborative terms. To coexist, gnawing, discomfort, remnants, fervent appeal instead. So these terms, these elaborative terms, to coexist, gnawing, discomfort, they sometimes become um, a barrier towards achieving fluency in second language reading. So vocabulary acquisition is of course important part of um, reading uh, and it's, it's the job of language teachers that we should train students that they, they can avoid you know, they can avoid the use of elaborative terms, descriptive terms as, as gnawing discomfort. So, it, this research suggests that scientific terms may not be a hurdle for the students to become fluent. Rather, it's the elaborative terms which sometimes become too difficult to digest. Right. So, of course, second language knowledge is all the more important, uh, crucial to become fluent in reading. So, in this regard, if we want to train our students to acquire vocabulary and at the same time remain fluent, we can train them in, in extensive reading instead of in reading intensively to the or uh, to the point of exhaustion. And extensive reading, on the other hand, can be built over time. And in this regard, the job of the teacher is very important because they can make students aware of their current linguistic knowledge and they can help them in making decisions selecting text, what to, what to choose and what not to choose. So, materials which the teacher role, as I said before, is all the more important, should be selected with care and they should be selected in such a way to develop habit of reading and they should be selected in such a way that they help develop speed reading. So, vocabulary acquisition is an important part of reading, and but it shouldn't be acquired to that level that it becomes a barrier to become a fluent reader. So, in order to make our students fluent readers, the role of the teachers is very important to select texts which are matchable to the current linguistic knowledge of the students.